All right, um, for those that requested it, here's a little recap of the preamp section on the API console at Brighton Electric. Apologies for the handheld camera vision. Low quality productions are my thing. Um, here we go, uh, just above the fader, the mute switch here, you'll find the preamp section. Uh, the blue light indicates that the preamp is switched on. If this blue light is not on, the amp is in line mode. We'll probably cover that again a little later on and how to use that or utilize that. So switch the mic pre on to make sure. Um, before you start or even consider connecting any microphones, make sure this switch here, the 48 volt 48V phantom power switch is not on. Even with a microphone that needs phantom power, it shouldn't be engaged when the microphone is plugged in. Just a simple precautionary thing. Uh, okay, so you have your gain control. This is a pot and a tent, uh, designed, obviously, to add gain. High, low. Okay, um, you'll see at the top of the strip, above the EQ, some VU meters one corresponding to each of the 16 channels on the board. Uh, you will see the microphone signal move that VU meter. It's a voltage meter, not necessarily a loudness meter, so it doesn't necessarily correspond to what you hear, but what the microphone is receiving, what it's responding to. Uh, on the VU meter, zero is where things get nice. Unlike digital, where zero is the top, like the pinnacle the summit you uh, you're aiming for zero in analog that's where things start to get to work properly to work optimally and above that can be where you start to enhance the character of the tone with the equipment we'll come into that uh, into greater detail with that in the uh, gain structure gain scheduling lesson next week so back to the preamp a couple of other switches one is the pad this uh, attenuates, it's a passive attenuation device, a pad. This will reduce the potency or reduce the, the effectiveness of the gain by 20 dB. So it makes it effectively 20 dB lighter, uh, quieter. Just in case, even when you have the gain at zero, the signal is still too hot, you can switch on the pad and make it quieter. The other switch above the mic switch, uh, engage preamp engage switch is the polarity switch that's a polarity that flips the phase 180 degrees we'll go into that more once we start dealing with multiple microphones you won't hear any difference so flipping the switch in solo if you're just using one microphone it's an, it's an inaudible difference flipping that it only affects the relationship with other microphones if you're using more than one once you have your gain where you want it and it's sitting in your VU meter comfortably, then you're looking at unmuting and using the fader to send the signal to Pro Tools. This is your output volume for your mic channel. And this is a mute. Red being the international color sign for stop. Okay. We'll leave it there for now. I'll try and do a little Pro Tools uh, video recap um, for this part of the lesson as well.